You might have seen the decibel meter available in the market that generally measures the sound intensity and levels. The sound loudness is measured in terms of decibel. Different sound producing medium ranging from airplanes to the human whisper has the certain level of sound loudness which is expressed in decibel. Sound waves are the longitudinal waves that have to and fro motion giving high or low pitch as shown in the image. The loudness of the sound depends upon the frequency or wavelength or the time required for propagation. This table shows the level of the sound in the decibel from the threshold of hearing to the office sound to the bus station or jet planes. But unfortunately, all the sound level meters available in the market are expensive. That is why I decided to make my own Arduino based decibel meter. Using my sound level meter, I can monitor the sound level and intensity on LCD screen. So I use the Arduino Nano along with the sound sensor module with a display. The display used here is 16 cross 2 I2C LCD display. The sound sensor generally reads the analog value of the sound which is converted into the decibel using some mathematical formula. So in this project we will use the sound sensor module. This sound sensor module has a mic and amplifier circuit which is read by a microcontroller. So now let's get started with our project. The official sponsor of this video is PCBWay.com. PCBWay is one of the most experienced and best PCB manufacturer companies in the China. They offer two layers, four layers and multi-layer PCBs. Give the order to them by filling the size of the PCB, selecting the number of PCBs, PCBs color, and providing the shipping address of your country and then uploading the Gerber file. After uploading the Gerber file, you can submit the order and within a week you can get a high quality PCB. This is a sound sensor module that I ordered recently to make my own decibel meter and it has a perfect condenser mic that detects the level of sound from the sound producing medium. It has an IC called LM393 which is a comparator IC. It has a potentiometer that is used to adjust the sensitivity. It has three pins that are out, BCC and ground. Now in this video we are using the Arduino Nano 16 cross 2 I2C LCD display, three different color LEDs and some jumper cables. And then we are using a breadboard for the assembly. So these are the hardware components that are required for making this project. Here is the circuit diagram that we have assembled. Connect the I2C pin STA and SCL of the LCD display to the F5 and F4 pin of the Arduino. Supply the LCD display with 5 volt through 5 volt pin of Arduino. Similarly, supply the sound sensor with 3.3 volt power supply through 3.3 volt pin. You can also add 3 LEDs of different color to the Arduino, D3, D4 and D5 pins. This LED glows on the basis of different sound intensities. The sound sensor interface to the analog pin A0. The analog pin is connected because the sound sensor is an analog sensor. So here is the assembly on the breadboard. All the components are assembled as per the circuit diagram. So here is the simple code that I have written in Arduino IDE. You can find all the code in the link in the description below. So you need to add the I2C LCD display library and you need to define the A0 pin of the Arduino that we are using to detect the sound. Using this formula, we are converting the minimum and maximum voltage generated into the decibel value. And using this function, we are displaying the sound sensor intensity in decibel using the LCD and also providing normal, moderate and extreme noise signal through the different color LEDs. Now select the correct board and correct port from the tools menu and then upload the code. Once you upload the code, the sensor get ready and you can measure the sound level intensity on the LCD screen. 
and these LEDs glows on the basis of different sound intensities. So here is the little demonstration of this project. This tutorial shows you how I made Arduino based decibel meter with sound sensor and display the sound intensities on LCD display. So I hope this tutorial was interesting for you. If you need any type of help related to this project then let me know in the comment section below. It's me Elson signing off for today. See you soon on the next one. Thank you.